Hello and good morning to everyone once again. So today we will do the exercise uh, one, uh, 2.1. Before we have to do the exercise 2.1, one of the term it was left in the last class. That one I am going to do the discussion. Then after we will do the exercise 2.1. So that term name it is called as your coefficient. Coefficient. Remember, suppose one of the algebraic expression otherwise polynomial it is given that 2x square plus 6x. So this one having two term. Two term one it is our 2x square, another one it is uh, 6x. So in the first term the number it is numeral it is 2 with its sign it is 2 and in the another term the number it is 6 so for which 2 and 6 are called as the coefficient of the two terms okay coefficient of the two term otherwise numeral coefficient of the two terms actually coefficient and numeral coefficient both are same things understood that understood then after another another <coughs> it is given another exp expression it is given 6y minus 3 it has a two terms one it is 6y another one it is minus 3 always you have to say along with its sign minus 3 so in the first term the number it is 6 so for is that one it is the coefficient of the first term and another one it is our minus 3 only the number it is there so for which minus 3 it is the coefficient of the second term so remember the definition of the coefficient the definition of a coefficient coefficients are the number coefficients of a term it is the number otherwise numeral along with its sign coefficients of a term it is the number otherwise numeral of that terms along with its sign ready thereafter i am saying you the coefficient of a factor coefficient of a factor already done the discussion in the standard 7 and standard 8 coefficient of a uh, of a factor suppose one of the algebraic expression it is given that 2xy plus 6x so it has a two terms one it is 2xy another one is 6x 6x suppose only only one will ask that coefficient means two another term six but whenever one will say that can you say me the coefficient of a y in the first term coefficient of y means you have to hide y then after which two factors are there 2 and x their product is 2x so 2x it is the 2x it is the coefficient of the y and whenever i will ask what is the coefficient of x coefficient of x means hide x then after 2 and y left 2 into y it is our 2y so coefficient of a factor remember coefficient of a factor of a term it is the product of the remaining factors along with its sign ready so coefficient of a factor is the product of the remaining factors along with its sign it is called as your coefficient of a factor ready so now <coughs> be ready to do the exercise 2.1 okay so first question it is given that uh, 1 2 3 4 5 5 algebraic expressions are there and it is just that you have to choose which which algebraic expressions are polynomial in single variable polynomial in single variable okay so to be a polynomial it must be the algebraic expression but the power should be whole see first one it is our 4x square minus 3x minus 7 so it has three terms first term power is 2 second term power it is 1 and last term power is 0 powers are 2 1 and 0 all are whole for which 100 percent polynomial clear polynomial in one variable then next one it is y square another one it is plus root 2 two terms first term y square means power it is 2 whole and another one it is root 2 means root 2 no variable means y to the power 0 so constant term means power it is 0 so there it is the power 0 and first one it is power it is 2 so for which all the power 2 and 0 are whole for which it is a polynomial ready next one it is 3 roots uh, root to t 3 root to t Achha, root over of a t means 3 t to the power 1 by 2 root over of a t means t to the power 1 by 2 which is not a whole no need to check the another term but i am checking another term t into root 2 t means t to the power 1 into root 2 first term power it is 1 by 2 means which is not a whole number and another one it is the 1 t to the power 1 which is a whole number but i said the all the powers all the powers should be whole the powers of all the all the variable of the terms are whole always but as the first term power first term having the variable its power it is 1 by 2 which is not a whole so for which this one it is not a polynomial ready next one it is y plus 2 by y first term power it is y means y to the power 1 but next one it is 2 by y 2 by y denominator variable is there always you have to keep the variable in the numerator side so 2 by y means 2 into y to the power minus 1 first term 
पावर इट इज वन सेकेंड टर्म पावर इट इज माइनस वन फास्ट टर्म वन इट इज होल सेकेंड वन माइनस वन हुई इज नट ए होल फॉर हुई दिस वन इट इज नट ए पॉलिनोम ओके नेक्स्ट वन इट इज सी एक्स टू दावर टेन वाई टू दावर थ्री एंड टी टू दावर फिफ्टी सो दिस वन इट इज पावर इट इज टेन थ्री एंड फिफ्टी एक्चुअली ऑल आर पावर आर होल इट इज ए पॉलिनोम but it is not a polynomial of a single variable actually it is that which one it is the polynomial of a of one variable so it is a polynomial but it is not a polynomial of one variable actually x y and t three variables we are used okay is it okay question number 1 it is very 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 easy i think okay so now it is the question number 2 in the question number 2 it is given few of the polynomials are given and it is just that you have to find out the coefficients of x square coefficient of x square c first first polynomial it is 2 plus x square plus x coefficient of x square which term having the x x square second term so that 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 one having the numerical coefficient is 1 so for which in the first polynomial the coefficient of the x square is 1 second 2 minus x square plus x cube there it is also one of the term having x square and here the numerality is minus 1 number it is 1 with its sign it is minus 1 coefficient means number with its sign ready नेक्स्ट वन इट इज पाई बाय टू एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स सी एक्स स्क्वायर द नंबर इट इज पाई बाय टू सो द कोपिसेंट इट इज पाई बाय टू इट इज पॉजिटिव पाई बाय टू नेक्स्ट वन इट इज रूट टू एक्स माइनस वन दिस वन हैविंग नो एक्स स्क्वायर नो टर्म ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर आल्सो वन कैन से दैट जीरो इनटू एक्स <coughs> variable x square it means our coefficient is zero ready then now the question it is question number 3 it is given you have to give one example of the binomial degree 35 binomial means two terms two terms must be there but highest but highest power it is 35 you can choose anything <coughs> a to the power 35 plus 5 two term also highest power it is 35 also one can choose a to the power 35 plus 6 a to the power 34 ready also one can say as x to the power 35 x to the power 35 plus x x to the power 35 5 x to the power 35 plus 6 x to the power 30 but highest power should be 35 one binomial means two term but highest one it is 35 okay one can say 3 by 2 x to the power 35 plus 1 by 2 x to the power 10 x to the power 10 and x to the power 35 two terms but x to the power 35 it is the highest one ready and then uh, next one it is given that tell me one monomial of degree 100 monomial single term degree it is 100 a to the power 100 b to the power 100 5 a to the power 100 x to the power 100 then after y to the power 100 this type of 3 by 2 into x to the power 100 okay single term this one many more example can be said ready and now it is the question number 4 question number 4 it is given that <coughs> Uh, you have to just say the degree it is how much so few of the polynomials are given few of the polynomials are given and each of the polynomial you have to say its degree it is how much degree is the highest power of the variable highest power of the highest power uh, uh, highest, uh, highest power of the variable it is called azure degree see so first question it is 5 x square 4 x square plus 7 so it has three terms in the first term x having the power it is 3 second term x having 2 and third term constant means 0 constant means power is 0 so among us the 3 3 2 and 0 which one it is greatest 3 for which degree of the polynomial it is 3 next one it is 4 minus y square two term 4 minus y square in the constant term 4 the degree the power it is 0 another minus y square the degree it, power it is 2 so 0 it is greater or 2 is greater definitely 2 is greater so for which i can say that the degree of the 4 minus y square it is 2 Next one it is 5t minus root over of 7. So it has also the two term. One it is 5t, another one it is root over of 7. So in the 5t, t to the power it is 1, and root over of 7 it is the constant. And root over of 7 means root over of 7 into t to the power 0. Okay, constant term having the power it is 0. So for which, for which the greater one it is 1 instead of 0. Greater one it is 1. Okay, so for which this one it is the degree it is 1. Then next one it is three. Three means constant term. The degree should be zero. Constant means three into x to the power zero means zero. Constant term means no variables is there. It means no variable means x to the power zero. 
ready question number 4 i think it is easy now we will do the discussion of the question number 5 and question number 5 1 2 3 4 5 polynomials are given and you have to just uh, differentiate which one it is linear which one it is quadratic which one it is our cubic polynomial linear means a degree it is 1 quadratic means 2 cubic means 3 by quadratic means 4 okay so first one see x square plus x x square plus x first one having the 2 power it is 2 second one it is 1 degree it is 2 2 means quadratic second one it is x minus x is q degree it is 3 this polynomial having degree 3 first one power 1 second one it is power 3 so it means highest power is 3 degree is 3 so highest power it is 3 so for which it is called as your cubic next one it is y plus y square plus 4 so having three terms first term having power it is 1 second one power 2 last one power 0 highest power it is 2 so for which it is called as your quadratic next one it is 1 plus x first two term having constant term having the power 0 second term x means x to the power 1 so for which highest power it is 1 means linear next one it is 3t 3t means 3 into t single term t means t to the power 1 means 100 percent linear next one it is r square r square means power of r it is monomial one term power it is 2 so for which it is called as your quadratic next one it is 7 x to the power 3 it having a single term but the power of x is 3 so for which it is called as your cubic i hope exercise 2.1 it is very 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 easy okay so today you have to do on the exercise 2.1 all these things up to question number 5 in your cw copy anywhere any problem feel free to contact me okay thank you have a beautiful day ahead